Hi and welcome back to my solo playthrough of Maracaibo using the Uprising expansion. So I'm playing against Jacques, the new AI opponent. And yes, there were some, yeah, I don't know, more or less minor mistakes. First of all, I forget to award myself three additional victory points. So we are at 20. But the more or the bigger problem is that I, of course, totally forgot to award Jacques the points. And he's getting the points from the cards, from the AI cards he played during this, this round. So here we have 20 points alone from these two. This is 10 more, 30, 40, 45 points in total. I know that is insane, but I think this is how the game goes. It has to be challenging. And keep in mind, I'm only playing on the medium normal difficulty level here. But anyway, um, this is going up to 45 victory points in total. Quite insane. And then there was um, an interesting comment by René. And really do appreciate all your or comments and your very detailed response to that. The first one was in respect to this Legacy Tile 1 here. Where René rightfully said, um, this is not really a quest space. This is now a city space. So Jacques shouldn't go after this tile. And I really don't know. And I think he also mentioned that he thinks that I think this card here says 2 or 19. I think it's wrong because I think this is clearly a hyphen in there. And again, the rules say it goes to the smallest one of the lowest numbered location. And there is also one, I believe, which says, let me see. I think they're all saying 2 to 19, for example. And I highly doubt that Jack would only go for... I think thought I saw something between 2 to 7 actually maybe I missed that but they're all saying 219 so I highly doubt actually that only these two locations he would go after I think this is not in the spirit of the rules um yeah you could debate that taking this away wouldn't really help him but he's still there to interfere with me actually and still store score some points so I think that this might still be a correct but again take everything I say with a pinch of salt. And again, I do appreciate all your comments. I might be completely wrong, but then at least you know that I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, but I will continue playing it this way for now. Maybe there is something on the geek where Alex also already has chipped in and said, yeah, no, no, that that's wrong. I don't know. Maybe that's the thing. The next thing is in respect to um, quest tiles that show a combat point. And he also said, that you are not allowed to spend sailors in order to do that. And he has a point because, at least in my German version of the rules, it's only being mentioned in the combat action section that you are allowed to spend your sailors in order to do that. I never played it this way. And maybe this is really something that has been sorted out on the Geek a long time ago, but it's not part of my rules. That's it's Yeah, it's implicitly there, but... I don't know. For now, for today, I will not take it back, but I will then at least pay attention to future um, quest tiles that are coming up. There are really not that many who have that. But also my version of the rules, they simply say you have to give away one or two combat points. And that's it. It's not being mentioned that you cannot spend um, sailors for that. Maybe it is somewhere in the rules and I simply couldn't find it. It's really a very comprehensive set of rules. But yeah, appreciate it. I really do. And I think with that being said, we should be able to move on. I saw an interesting picture on the Geek, actually. There was a thread on this uh, misaligned printing here on those player boards. Here, but that's something I can live with. It's not looking nice, but that's something I can live with. It, for me, it's really these things are not are you working properly. But the image I saw was a very cool idea. They basically placed those discs here next to each other, not on top of each other. Um, maybe... That's the better deal. Um, maybe that's maybe that's really better. Doing it something like this or so, because then they have at least some, yeah, I don't know, stability here. Also, that was also really a very interesting thing to see. But I think with that being said, we should be able to move on. As usual, I will be first. And I guess the best bet would be now to sail to Santiago because this would unlock another ship improvement. And this ship improvement would give us an additional village action. I think that's key. So let's do that. So we are moving from Havana into Santiago. I guess we are playing... 
yeah this fella here for the tobacco this allows us to send this good to santiago so we have unlocked this this gives us an additional two coins and yeah having money is never a bad thing for these more awesome cards and again as of now we have this village action here unlocked and with the village action for three combat points we can remove an influence cube from a village where our ship currently is so and i think this might significantly help help us getting rid of those cubes along the way so i really quite like that then with our actually oh, we still get a meeple actually from santiago that's the bonus you always get there and then we do get a village action there is no cube here but we can build or buy another card a project card and i think that's what we should do I have the money now, so I, I'm really tempted to build the harbor because it will trigger twice. Yeah, let's do that. So we are building the harbor. Um, it costs us 15 because of our builder here. So that's 10. Wow, basically majority of our money gone, but I think it's still okay. We are getting this synergy token here, which is the anchor. Let's take this and it's now triggering in a lot of different direction. First of all, we got the anchor so we can unlock our quest hunter here. And yes, you can activate those retroactively. Once you have this, you can activate it. This would give us simply two more money income. So we are moving up to 12. And again, we can unlock some more victory points here along the way, but we are not done yet because we already had the tools here from, the, I think this was coming from, no, from the discoverer here we will get four victory points income and that's huge and the harbor itself is also two points at the end of the game so it's definitely a double good thing but getting four extra victory points each round on this will trigger three more times so that's 12 times net that's not bad so let's move our victory point marker or our victory point income marker accordingly so again that will translate into 12 more points um, until the end of the game and that's definitely something I can still park a card and maybe I will go for the smuggler. Doesn't necessarily look like Han Solo, at least he had both of his hands. Uh, maybe another quest hunter or another builder. That's three points and more discount and it's still early enough and ah, that's the question now. Why not? Let's park the builder here too which means we are getting to draw four more cards we have to check the next location so down here we need sugar we have sugar here we would need some corn if we would go up there right now we don't have any corn so i guess i'm drawing one two three cards here and none of these shows a corn so what we do know that we have the governor in the display and the governor comes with a corn if we go for it we have to spend one coin and it doesn't really matter too much we are spending the coin this at least ensures us we are getting the corn we need so we have at least all the options open that was the idea and then we are refilling the card here okay a lot of interesting new that's one of the expansions here another assistant in Sun Kitts. I know all these cities like Sun Kitts and Martinique from Pirates, <laughs> the computer game which I really did like and still like a lot actually. Then it's Jacques and we are still in round one so in this case he simply moves one space ahead. He no longer cares for this quest tile here because it's gone so he will simply move the shortest distance. Right now he would be in the lead so if this would be the end result I think I would lose five points for that. Um, and by the way these tokens here this is something which I after some thought processes of course because if you're playing a four player game against Duck, Jack, you are basically missing out on one set of components so yes of course you could totally go for a meeple from another player in a solo or two or three player game this is simply there for a four player game yeah stupid meme honestly they could have <laughs> simply added some more um, wooden meeples for Jacques actually I mean it would would have been three wooden components actually um, and it was really not a cheap expansion quite honestly but okay that's that's really a minor thing here okay back to us again we have to decide if we want to move up or down we have now really some invaders from France here in order to trigger our new village village ability or no village action and this village action alone makes me think 
that you should be allowed to also spend those meeples for combat points even outside of a combat action. Otherwise, I really don't think that this is a true thing. This would feel really, really difficult because then you would render this ability very useless because you would have to always bring it up to at least three or three, at least three to make any sense out of this extra action here. But anyway, I don't come close. I only have two sailors. I have zero um, combat points here. So I think going for this action here doesn't help us one way or the other. So I guess our best bet would be to move to Puerto Plata. Yeah, let's do that. One, two, three. We are definitely sending our governor. Um, governor is bringing some corn here. And yeah, which ship improvement would we go next? Here I know, tempted to go either here or there. This is good because we could unlock more village action much quicker, but this would give us combat points. I think for this mission or for this scenario, let's go for this one. Because again, this is also an additional village action. This gives us a coin and a combat point, and we can do that multiple times. And combination of those two, that's pretty huge. So let's send this thing in here. And with our main city action, we are going to move our explorer. We are skipping over this space because it's occupied. So we are moving one, two. In theory, I could move directly in here. This would give us some more um, combat points right away. And we would also move through these ruins here. So we would be allowed to place our meeple into the ruin section. But I think getting some extra money now, that was my main thing. So let's do that instead. And it's also three more victory points. But here the money might be even a little bit more important. So we are back up to Four doubloons and we are moving to 23 points in total. But yeah, um, keep in mind, Jacques is already at 45. Ridiculous. Okay, then it's Jacques. And again, he's moving his explorer one space, which is okay. He's still... Is he behind now? That's an interesting thing. I think... No, I think we are now pretty much the same, right? I don't know, but in this case, it doesn't really matter too much because the game isn't over just yet. But that's already the end of his turn. And this is what I really like about especially Jacques' AI deck. It's so crisp, it's so clean, it's so fast, really enjoyable. I think with our next action, we are moving to Kumana. We have our assistant there. So let's do that. One, two, three, four. Four. If we would pass him, we would still gain two points. For every assistant you're not using during a given round, you're getting two points for that. And that can be pretty huge, actually. But I think in this case, we do want to enable our explorer. First of all, or discoverer here, we are getting two more coins. So we are at six now. With six, there's stuff we could do. And we are getting three points with our explorer now. And again, we have to make a call. We can move one two, three, that's a point, plus four points. Oh, that's five points, that's not bad. On the other hand, here is another quest and another, I think we don't want to give him. Yeah, we are spending a step, but I still like this better. We are moving one, two into the quest tile here. We have to give away um, those two uh, resources. I think these are some herbs or so. As far as I remember, so here's one, here is two. We are giving those away, so we have solved this quest tile here. So we're getting one point per compass. We still have two compasses, one here and one there. That's two more points, that's 25. Um, but we are getting also this extra meeple here. And yeah, I think that's already that. Again, with our next quest actions, we would already start scoring some points. But because we just solved our third quest, we are looking at our career card here. So we have three of those. We're getting this meeple. Um, because it's three and not two, we are getting two more points up to 27 and two more doubloons. That's pretty something. So at least we will be able to, to buy another project card this round. And doing at least two per round, I think that's definitely, that's definitely a goal. Over to Jacques. I think this was it for us, right? Yeah, we simply used our explorer. No, that's it. Um, okay, we are now at turn three. 
So he's placing a disc onto space 11, which of course, again, is Maracaibo. I mean, yeah, someone designed this deliberately, so really to annoy us, and here it really does make sense, of course. And yeah, that's already it. Um, what are we going? I think we have to go into Maracaibo just to keep removing cubes. Yeah, we have to do that. Because if we are not managing to remove those until the end of the game, we have lost either way. So we are moving one, two spaces to Maracaibo. We are not delivering anything, but we are doing for a combat action. So let's see what we get. Again, we ignore the top row here in this scenario. So with France, we would gain a coin and three points. For England, we would gain six, but we would lose two coins. And for Spain, which is no longer out there, we would get a victory point. So I think we will go for France, actually. Yeah, I think let's go for France. This gives us one more doubloon. Let's see if we can use it. So we have three combat points coming from this tile here. And I believe I want to remove uh, one from a major city now. Yeah, I think we have to remove them because for the villagers, we might use our new village action here. So I think that's the better deal. And in this case, yeah, we will go for Puerto Plata. In order to do that, we need to come up with five points in total. We have three from the tile. We are spending two from our ship basically. So they sacrificed themselves. So this allows us to remove one cube here from a major city or from a city that is. And again, that is Puerto Plata. So we are getting three coins. I will give one back, promise. And so we are already at 12 doubloons actually. That's quite something. And again, we can place this cube here on our, I think, resistance tile. Because we have unlocked this one here, we get the bonus now twice. So we could go for two victory points, two meeples, but I think removing two discs is the much more powerful thing to do. Awesome. So we will remove this one here, which will unlock the new um, village action here. And for the second one, again, we want to strengthen our village action. We will start to reduce this one here too. Okay, that was pretty amazing. In theory, we could go on and take whatever this combat action here. The problem is we only have two more meeples left, so we cannot generate more points. I would totally go for it again, but yeah. That's not gonna happen. But anyway, we will get the combat tile onto our player board here. And I really like this. Let's put it like this. This makes more sense. And that's already the end of our turn again. Oh yeah, we have to draw cards actually. I think I forgot to draw my cards last round. Not sure if that's really a problem, um, but let's definitely do that now. And an additional thing I forgot when I moved my explorer to uh, through the ruins, I would have been allowed to place one of my meeple I had meeples back then, so I will definitely do that here. And as of now, when I get uh, movement points on the discovery track, I can use them either for my main explorer or I can start exploring those ruins here, which could give us a lot of whatever extra resources, five gold and three points, six points, you name it. So this could be pretty huge actually. So I simply forgot that, but I had the meeple and I was totally planning to do that. But now we are going to draw two cards from the deck and I want to have at least one corn again. There is no corn out there either. So I think I simply will draw three cards now. Yeah, but they all don't have any corn on them and I don't have it either. So that could be bad. Then it's over to Jacques. Mm, we are now at card four. So he's moving his explorer two spaces. So that's one and two. He's again ignoring all those icons. He's not sending anyone to the ruins or whatnot. So he's simply trying to be in the lead here. And then it's back to us. Unfortunately, we cannot yet sail into the new city of Santa Marta here because again, in order to get there, we would have to move and maybe this, I totally with that, I totally should have ignored the quest and should have sent someone here because this would have opened me three more combat points. I will get there. So maybe it's not that big of a deal, but here's also another combat action. So yeah, okay. Yeah, but it is what it is. Um, What are we going to do next? Again, we don't have any combat corn to deliver stuff. So maybe, maybe it's on our best interest to, I think I didn't remove this one here from Port Royal, right? 
Yes, I think I did not from the last round. But I don't have any corn right now. Well, that's a problem. So maybe would it be able to get to this quest here? That's three more points actually, plus more doubloons and whatnot. Going to one of those, maybe here to Cartagena. This gives us one and an influence. And I think influence is two points, but not delivering stuff there feels like a waste actually and the same is true up there for Port Royal where they also want corn so the Caribbean is hungry for sure in this scenario. Do I have the two books? That's the better question. No, I don't. No, boy. Oh, boy. But there were also no books out there. So going for this one here would be wasteful either. Oh, boy. This would be the best thing. I totally blew that. Ah, maybe we do want to go to Port Royal then and not delivering anything gives us a combat point it gives us more. yeah let's do that so we are moving one two spaces here to port royal again we are not delivering let me check that one last time no we, there is nothing we can do so we cannot ship anything here but we would get a combat point getting us to one and we get to remove a disc so we are unlocking yet another ship improvement and we have one career task that says to have five or seven ship improvements right now we are already at one two three four five so we could go for this task up here if we get two more though we would also score four more points and the four coins and are those four coins now desperately needed i don't know that actually yeah, the question is, should we park another card? And I think we should, because this would give us at least the chance to get one more corn, which we might want to get. But what do we want to park up there? The governor, maybe Yahima, it's space seven. Hmm. I think so. We are going to, it's gang system. I think that's simply part of the story mode. So hopefully I'm not spoiling anything here for you. Pretty sure this is part of one of the of the new campaign here. And yeah, but this has unlocked one space in our hand. So let's simply draw that from the top of the deck because come on, it's corn, it's corn, it's corn. No, it's not corn, it's a pinnace. You must be kidding me. Okay, but that's already our action. So let's move over to Jacques. It's five. And yes, he is ending the round now. Mm. Okay, and we will not be able to end it. So we have pretty much one more turn now. And he's getting the 15 extra points. But this is more or less, I'm um, reimbursing him for the cards he's no longer drawn. So this could be, I think, yeah, th these are 15 points too. So he's getting the 15 points either way. We could go for this thing here, but then we are missing out on the combat area up there. This could also give us two more steps and two more steps would unlock Santa Marta for us. Oh boy, so many difficult decisions here. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this one here would also give us a combat action. Do we have the two looking glasses? And of course we don't. So let's not think about it. <laughs> let's simply not think about it. Ooh, yeah, that's a tough one. Okay, we are moving up there for sure. One, two, three, and four. The question now is, do we want to fight or do we want to move our explorer two spaces ahead? I mean, fighting, I, I still think we have a lot to do, actually. So maybe we should fight now because I... I have no sense of timing here, so because I've never played this scenario before, we still have eight cubes out there. Yeah, let's fight. No, 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 let's let's fight for sure. So let's see what it is. Okay, okay, France is five. Mm, that's not bad. England is three and a victory point. Is three enough to remove? I think three, three would be enough. The five for France. Let's do that, actually. Let's go for England. Let's fight for England. So we are getting one point. We have three combat points and that's in theory all we need. We can simply remove, I don't know here, Camarco um, from this space here. We need three combat points to push away um, one of our nations on a village space. Yeah, let's do that. And with that, I'm placing it here. Keep in mind, you're not allowed to place um, the same color next to each other here. So if I would place it here, then I would completely miss out of this. So I will do that here because we're getting the reward twice. We get two more meeples here. Oops, I should show that two more meeples here. So we are back up to three. So in total, we have four if we use that. But it, 
and it's not enough to go for this extra action here you must ah that's so bad actually so we really maybe should consider to unlock this action here too because yeah it makes this thing much cheaper actually mm, i think yeah maybe i missed this but okay that's on me we have our third combat tile and then i think it's the end of the round yes Jack is calling it the end of the round. Let's award him his point before I forget. So again, he gets um, 15 points because he ended the round, but he will also score this point. So that's 20, 30, 45 points again. So he's simply moving up to 90 points. You must be kidding me. So again, I could go for two lame points or would buy a project card. And I think a project card is what we are going to do. We have three in our um, yeah, project area up here. Um, the smuggler is pretty cool, but yeah, it comes with the synergy token, which we can't really use right now. The another builder could be good, but I really like Yahima um, because she gives us combat points and we can um, fulfill the topmost quest on the quest pile for the cost, basically, that's, that's depicted here. So this could be, which the combat points is the interesting piece, actually. Let's go for this. We only have to spend five doubloons, keep in mind, because that's who she, uh, because of our builder, actually. But we also have to place one of our meeples to some kits. And then we get to draw. We can park another card now just to make sure we are drawing. So I think we have to do that now, because otherwise, again, I'm totally out of stuff of the right resources so i guess maybe the governor extremely expensive if we can go for any yeah let's go for the governor let's park him here then we are spending no we are not spending any money we will refill our hand of cards we are going for the topmost card and that's corn okay that's uh think mercenary or so i think that's the right resource we were looking for that was the main thing then we are going into the income we get 12 doubloons now because of our income track and because we have victory points income of four we are getting four more points here accordingly keep in mind yes he is significantly in the lead but we will score at least some more points um, towards the end of the game for sure though there are still a lot of things we can achieve but my feeling is not so good actually <laughs> it's not so we are moving this all those um, cubes are being or discs are being removed from the game board all but this one here of course then we will deal with a new or basically a new offering i will mainly do that now off camera we will reveal our next prestige building and that's the castillo um oh we get two points for each combat tile we have right now we are at two and that's really a that's a good goal because we will definitely see more combat actions coming. So that could be worth it, but we still need 20 doubloons for that. And then I think last thing to do for this round is to bring out a new quest tile here. And as after round two, this goes to space 18 right next to Puerto Cabezas. Okay, I think that's that. We are moving into the next round. I think I will keep going. We will move to Santiago for sure. We will deliver some tobacco there with our smuggler. Uh, we haven't, I think I will now un start unlocking the extra combat action here. I think that should be our best bet. We are getting our final meeple actually um, all the others are currently still on our project card and we get a village action and for sure we buy another project card we have the 19 doubloons to basically buy ourselves a governor sounds a little bit odd on the other hand we could go for the smuggler first and hope we will get the governor towards the end of the round still mm, because the smuggler would give us I would say something immediate to deal with. And do we have three? Yeah, we could even use the smuggler. The thing is we have someone already on location seven. So maybe that's not our best bet to go. Maybe we will simply go for another builder. Let's do that. Let's actually do that. Yeah, we will spend five now to get ourselves a second builder. So our discount just increased. Mm, and then we have to think about do we want to park another card or not 
Mm, maybe in San Juan we could gain some more points. Let's park this, uh, the mercenary here and then we have to draw two more cards. Uh, no, let's not park the... Oh, oh, whoa, 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 that was bad. No, I need, I need the resource for sure. I need the resource. No, we will simply draw a card from the top of the deck and that's oh, another smuggler. Okay, yeah, but it is what it is. Over to Jacques. Okay, he's placing a disc onto space five. That's pretty annoying. So maybe we do not want to take the south road team, even though this would have given us two village actions. And we do have a lot of village actions now. But here I'm really tempted to go to Puerto Plata again, just to move our explorer and unlock Santa Marta. I think that's what we have to do, actually. Let's do that. One, two, three we are delivering our mercenary yes for a corn we will unlock a next combat action with that and we get to movement on our explorer track because we will jump over here we will go in here so in total we will get five points for that one here because we have crossed the blue line that's another four so we are at 37 points and with the remaining point we can split our movement now we are moving this guy further in order to unlock that we have to get give away two of those maps which we can easily do and then we are drawing the topmost card and depending on the icon we are drawing we get the reward accordingly so in this case we got one of those healing herbs and that's four more coins I think that worked out perfectly. We need the coins later on to build our governor. Amazing. No, I think this was pretty cool. And we have unlocked Santa Marta with that. Oh, I totally take that. We still have to draw more cards. And again, we need uh, food. But let's draw two cards from the top of the deck. Another harbor, another oh, sailor. Yeah, I think we have to spend one coin now to get at least one thing here. Let's go for the pioneer. We need at least one of those food thingies. Let's refresh, that's a um, diplomat or so. And that's basically our turn, but not so fast. I just happened to notice that we only need to make it to um, beyond the blue lines on the explorer deck, which we just did. So yeah, let's totally do that. We are getting ourselves another sailor and we get three more coins for that and three more victory points. So we are at 40 points. That's not even half of the points that Jack has. Pretty embarrassing stuff, I know. But then it is Jacques, finally, his second action is to move two spaces on the exploration track. He will move as fast as possible, one, two. He's not counting our space, keep that in mind. So yeah, he's certainly in the lead now. But again, the majority or the most important thing was to unlock Santa Marta this round, which basically happened here. With our next action, we will move one, two spaces to St. Kitts. We will visit Yahima, who happens to be Geng's sister. Again, I haven't played the campaign here. Not sure what I'm talking about. First of all, we are getting two combat points. I think that is pretty huge. And then we can basically resolve the topmost quest from the quest deck, which happens to be this one here. So we have to spend the two healing herbs or whatever it is. We are discarding those. We get one point per compass we have. Again, that's only two, moving us to 42 points. But in total, we will get four doubloons for that. So we're taking five, one back. But because it's our fourth quest, we will immediately score three more points here. Now we do have half the victory points of Jacques. Isn't that lovely? Let's draw two more cards. We get one card here from the top. Hmm, it's another mercenary. I really do want one more coin. So I think I will go for the noble here. Again, we have to spend one coin for that. There is a thing on your player board which gives you these things for free. Then that's also not the worst thing to unlock actually. But yeah, we really need one more corn, one some more food. Let's see what comes out next. Okay, yeah, in Martinique. Oh, really a lot of assistance actually. 
There is a cool uh, city action. I think this comes with the expansion, which gives you, I think, two points for each of your assistants who are out there in the Caribbean. And this is really a nice synergy then. But again, that depends so much on this game is so tactical. It's so different each time you play it. You always have to search through different ways in order to win. And that's so highly enjoyable here. This, this game is incredible. Okay, let's see. That's the third card. That's two more steps. Oh, that will be tough now. So I'm not sure if I will ever be able to catch up with Jacques here. Mm, I mean, that's only four spaces. But yeah, once he made his over here, it's only five more points. Or so maybe we shouldn't get too crazy about this. I could imagine that this is more important for, let's say, two, three, four player game because... They're all losing those points and in a whatever, even in a three play game, all of the players need to have more than uh, more points than Jack. So maybe that's more important in a multiplayer game than in a solo experience here. Before Jack is taking Maracaibo away from us, I think we can deliver something there. Yes, we can. We are going to sail there right away. So we are moving one, two, three, four. Four spaces in here. We have passed over an assistant, so we haven't used them, which means we are getting two more points for that. So there's always this consolation, but at least now we can deliver stuff in here. So we are going to deliver the. Yeah, he has brought the sugar cane here. Mm, and I think we are taking. Oh, that's interesting. No, we are taking it here from this space. And we get to do a combat action next. So let's see what we get and i believe we want to fight for france now again that's four combat points yeah the six points for spain there's nothing for spain out there england could be okay too but i want to free up my uprising tile or resistance tile or whatever it is so yeah let's fight for or against france in this case and the idea is to free up this city here and um, we need one more combat point we will have three so we are giving it away so we have freed this space this gives us two more balloons right away and we are placing this cube onto our resistance tile we get this reward twice so that's two more points up to 49 not bad now we are cleaning this off for good we are getting three money right off the bat so here's a five, getting two back when we're getting one point for each combat tile. And I think this counts here too. I'm pretty sure this is already on there. So that's four more points. So we are moving to 53 points in total. That's not too shabby. And now we can start filling this up. The problem is we only have white and blue out there. So we will not be able, well, we might be able to fill it up one more time. We have to place it trickily but yeah i think that should be possible let's draw another card it's another pioneer and then it's back to jacques it's already his fourth card and he's placing a disc onto 13 which is port royal but yeah not sure maybe that is okay actually with the next card he could already end the round actually so we may want to go here to Santa Marta now we can deliver and we get another combat space yeah let's do that so we are moving one space down here we are going to deliver I don't know let's go for a pioneer so that's the corn we are freeing up this space here um, which means we get this thing here immediately that's three steps uh, four points and four victory points or basically moving to the next title rank or so which we are not using in this game so i think it's one of the f the two here mm, i think we are going for this one and we are going oh let me think about this do we have two books oh we have two books actually hmm. so again we could now we have how many points did we have three movement points actually let's not give up just yet um we are moving hmm that's two point now let's go in here let's go in here so one point goes in here so that's one coin for that and the remaining two points we are using on the ruin track here one two we have to spend two of those books so that's a mercenary and that's this um i think it's a penis right 
I'm putting it here. We are drawing again the topmost card and it's a looking glass and that's five combat points. That's cool. I think that's really strong. I like that. So we are jumping from two up to seven. Wow, that is amazing. Cool. No, I really like that. But actually, I forgot. We are still taking our, this was just the bonus we just received. We still get the three points here. Hmm, that's only one. We cannot go beyond eight. Oh, that's so sad. That is so sad. We are losing out on two combat points. Oof, that's nasty. But we are getting to draw another combat tile anyway. And I will take that. And that's, ooh, that's again, I think in this case, we might want to go for England. Yeah, let's not waste um, this tile here. So we are fighting against England with four combat points in total. But again, we are wasting stuff. Mmm, mmm, that's bad. So with, we have really a lot of combat actions now. We can take all these three. That's pretty much the same thing like these up here. And so we could spend 10 combat actions in total. We have four and more than enough here. So I guess it's definitely worth it. The problem is we only have two cubes out there from England. So this doesn't necessarily help us, but that's still okay. So we are spending five points. And this is now really a timing thing, actually. We are spending five points here. So we are going down one on our combat track and four points from the tile we have to get rid of this. Um, we don't get any extra meeples whatsoever. That's kind of a bummer. And um, then I will spend another three points. One, two and three three but we are spending one of our meeples actually so we have one meeple left in our reserve to also remove this cube here and now we are placing them accordingly do we want the disc now but he would gain two meeple i think that would be mm, ah, that's not bad i think i want to let that's okay i will do this so i get two discs off here and i get two meeples back so we only have one left, but that's okay. Again, we are missing out on these meeples, but we are getting two extra discs. And in this case, I think we do have six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. We can even complete our career card. So we could simply go for 10 more points now to unlock those things, or we could simply go for this. No, let's go for the 10 points. So we are moving this here. Again, that's 10 points. We are moving up to 60 three and now because we have seven or i think i think this is now the seventh or the eighth already we have completely finished our career cut here so we are getting four more victory points up to 67 and four more coins i think that's definitely amazing but because we have done that all we get two more points up to 69 and two more doubloons but that's then basically the end of this career card so we have been appointed admiral and we have a ton of money sitting in our ship here wow that was an amazing action actually wow 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 okay let's go over to Jacques. Yeah, he's ending the turn, actually. Yep, it's the fifth card. So he will score the extra 15 points, but he's no longer revealing another. I think he's always the earliest is the fifth card, I believe, which makes sense. It again, it, it even evens out those, those missed cards here. So it's our final action, and I still think we need another combat action. Otherwise, it will be relatively tough to beat could go could we no i think we cannot make it to 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 but we could go in here to puerto cabezas for this one this would also give us yeah let's do that 1 2 3 4 and 5 we can deliver something do we have yeah we have ooh, do i want to spend it now yeah why not so we are spending this um, we are taking it from i don't know doesn't really matter too much from this space in here and then we are giving away two looking glasses to get oh that many uh two many wow two more combat points and we are getting a combat action 
So let's do that. We get two more points for that because we are placing it in here. So we had 71 points. Wow, we have caught up quite a bit actually. But now for the combat action. So, oh, France is five. Yeah, I think it's only France now, which we have to fight against anyway. So no, I think that's pretty perfect. Cool stuff. Stuff. We can get rid of two village things actually. So I guess, hmm, let's go for Tortuga. So we're spending three points there. We still have two more left from this combat action, but we are spending three for the first action. And then, yeah, we have the second action is only a two for a village action. So we are getting rid of San Juan here. Um, that's five combat points in total. Yeah, because that's five. No, that's three here from this village action and two for this village action. Here. Oh, that's pretty amazing. So we are getting six coins and two more points. Cool. 73 and six coins. That's certainly something amazing. So I think combat wise, we should be really okay. Now we are wiping this again, which gives us an additional three coins. And again, I still think that these things do count. This should be now six more points, bringing us to 79. Really not far ahead. So cool. Um, then we are still drawing our hand of cards. What resources do we need? I think we are drawing two randomly. Again, we want some food. There is no food, so we are spending one coin now to go for the pioneer here. In theory, we have to replenish it, but ultimately we are going to wipe it anyway. So let's not bother with that. Jacques is ending the round. So it's 15 point. Oh, that was our card actually. So it's 15 points for because he ended the round 20, 30, 40, 50 points. Really? Again, that's 20 points, 30, 40, 50 points in total, moving him up to 140. And there's no 100, right? Maybe there is, I don't know, 140. We have to remember that. Okay, let's move our ship basically to the end of the track. I think I should have brought out another quest tile here to Puerto Cabezas. So again, we can invest in a project card and I'm totally going to spend 18 coins now for the governor 18 because we have two builders so this gives us an immediate victory point income of four before we are scoring this so this is going up to eight we can get one synergy tile of our choice a one we don't own and i think in this case we do want to go for the crown it might be duplicate but i still feel like going for it because with this crown we are also unlocking the second reward on the harbor, which is another two victory point income, bringing us to 10. And this is triggering at least two more times. So I think it was definitely worth it. Next, we are moving into final score. We get 12 doubloons and 10 victory points from our victory point income. So we are moving up to 89. Amazing. We're removing all those discs here. Um, we are basically discarding the cards. I will mainly do that off camera. We are revealing a new prestige card. That's the last one. And so far we haven't claimed any one of those. Basilica. Um, that's basically four points for each assistant out there. Hmm. Interesting. And the two points if you go there first. And you can claim those prestige cards pretty much any time you get a build, build action or purchase action or whatever you want to refer to it. Last thing to do is to bring out another quest to location 12 in Santa Marta or next to Santa Marta. And that's basically, yeah, the rest of the steps. So we're moving back to Havana. Then I think let's keep going, right? Why not? Going to Santiago could be a little bit wasteful because we are not getting the extra meeple sailor here, but I think it's still worth it. Let's go there. We are, I think the mate will deliver 
the tobacco. We are taking the disc from here, ultimately giving us three more points, so up to 92 already. Again, we don't get the extra meeple, they're all out here, but we are getting a village action, and I think yeah, we have to buy another card now. And as we are really swimming in money, I'm debating if I should go for another prestige card. On the other hand, building another harbor could give us six more victory point income plus two. That's eight more points. For now, let's spend 18 doubloons for this village action. So we're getting two back and we will buy or we will invest into a prestige building. So we are taking one of our meeples, who we are placing here onto the Castile. We would get the crown, we already have it, that's kind of a bummer, um, but we will get two points for each combat tile at the end of the game. This might be 12 points in total. And we get two more points right away, bringing us to 94 because we were the first to go there. Cool stuff, but I think think that's already the end of our action. We have to draw a card and for one coin, we are getting one back. We are conquering a village at least at some point in time, but I was really going for the resource actually. And that's another quest hunter. Then it's Jacques. He is simply moving his explorer one space ahead. I mean, there is still a chance we might outrun him, but oof, that's not sure if you want to go for it or not. And then it's back to us. I'm relatively certain that we will go for another combat either here in Maracaibo or in Santa Marta. So moving now here, to go for this one village action, I think this would be rather wasteful. We could do two village actions here, which could give us two more cards, which we would be allowed to build. <sighs> here, I don't know, actually. I really don't know if that's our best Bet to really keep moving. On the other hand, that's two more steps. Yeah, let's do that actually. So we're moving one, two, three spaces to Puerto Plata. We are going to deliver a pioneer in here. We are using a disc, which doesn't really matter right now, but we get two more steps on this track and we might get two more steps later on. It's kind of a risk actually. We could make it sure. No, let's make it sure. We are using both steps on the ruin track. One, two spaces. We are the first to be here. This gives us six more points, moving us to 100 point exactly. And that's basically the end of this track for us. Then it's back to Jacques. I was drawing a random card. Wasn't really exciting. It's the second turn. He's moving his explorer one more step. Again, ignoring all those icons here. So in order to outrun him, we would need five more movement points. One, two, three, four, five. And then we don't know if he's moving or not. But again, we are only quote unquote losing five points. But I'm relatively certain that we will have more quest tiles than Jacques. And this will pretty much even things out. We'll get five points because we have more tiles than him. So it's pretty much a wash. I think we are not going to send kids this round because yeah, we are losing combat points there or we are not getting as many. So I think let's maybe move to Kumana instead. That's three. Let's do that. So that's one, two, three and four. We are moving here. So we are definitely getting the two points because we haven't used her services this round. So we are moving up to 102. In Kumana, we could now either go for two village actions because again, we have unlocked a uh, ship improvement or we could go with our Explorer three more spaces. And I think let's not give up on this just yet. So we are using our explorer. So we get two coins right off the bat. Let's see about that. And then we are moving up to three spaces. Of course, we will move the full distance one, two and three for two more points, bringing us to 104. Yeah, I think that's definitely OK. I think there's at least a chance to gain some more points here. Then it's Jacques. His third action and he's placing a disc onto space E11, which is again Maracaibo, which we are going to sail to maybe next, maybe not actually, because I could, it's now our turn, we could also simply go to Santa Marta, which would also give us a combat action. There we could deliver some food. No, let's do that. One, two and three. Three, we are definitely, mm -hmm. what do we have? Let's go for the French galleon here. We are going to fight with the 
French now, but mm, it's okay. It's still okay. Um, we have delivered this, meaning we will unlock this here too. So this gives us six more points, bringing us to 110 in total. Not shabby at all. We are getting three more combat points, but we are maxing out at eight right now. But let's draw our next combat tile. And that's, oh, that's not bad, actually. Let's do fight the French. We have to do that anyway. So we have four fighting power. And in total, we need five only, actually, because the last two remainings are on village spaces. So we need three here and two here. We are going for the lower one again with the four we have here. We are spending one combat point for that. Let's no, I think we have to spend the combat point next. Actually, we cannot go beyond eight. Um, which means, yeah, we have basically used this, but we are removing both cubes from Petit Guave and St. Kitts. Yeah, one definitely goes in here. So we are removing two more discs. This one simply gives us three more points right away. One, two, three. Can we get the reward double? And yeah, with this, we are simply going in here for two more points. Awesome, amazing stuff. Then. It's Jacques, it's a forced action. Okay, he will move his explorer to more spaces. So it's very, very unlikely we will be able to beat him. There is the pioneer. If he would have gotten the pioneer early on, um, we would always have received one more movement point here. But I think right now it's simply too late. Huh. And then it's back to us. So we are moving, I think, three spaces now, right? Yeah, this would... One, two, three. I think we are not going for the quest action. We are going for a basically two village action because we moved two plus steps because we upgraded this. We get two village actions out of this. So we could build twice actually, but maybe we do want to wait. So with our first village action, we are going for this. This gives us one combat point and one doubloon with the second action we are going to build. And we are spending now, I think, yeah, let's spend 18 coins to invest in another prestige building, which is the Citadel here. Because we are first, we're getting two more points, bringing us to 117. And this gives us basically two points for every combat point we have at the end of the game. And right now we are at eight plus three, it's 11, 22 points. So this one is truly huge. Yeah, let's not park any cards. Let's simply move into the next turn of Jacques. It's the fifth one. Oh, he's not ending it just yet. So he's placed one into 17 in Puerto Cabezas. Uh, doesn't really care about this actually, or I don't really care about this. And I'm not sure if I have anything better to do right now. Should I simply try to end it now? And maybe if we are somewhat lucky, we could score eight points out of this. This is four points, another micro, which we don't need. That's two points. There's really nothing much better to do. We will build something anyway. No, let's try that. One, two, three, four, and five. We are not fighting. On the other hand, fighting is also another two points. Ooh, that's now tempting because of our citadel. We could, but no, there's nothing to fight anymore. No, let's not do that. We are going for the two movement points. This moves us. Uh, we could go here, actually, or we could go there. That's also four points because here we, I think here we only get the two points. And I may have missed that early on here, actually. I can't quite remember if we were first here or if our friend was first. So maybe I, I cheated here. I don't know. So we could go here. That's two points. And yeah, I think that's the better deal right now. It's only two points. No, let's go in here for sure. So we are going only one space in here. Again, we are getting four coins for that. This could make a difference, maybe. Let's th think about that. And again, we are getting four points for this, plus the two points because it's our sixth one. Though that's six points in total, moving us to 23, so 123 points. That's not bad. Oh, but now that I see that, he should have this tile, actually. That's, he will always go for those tiles. Oh, maybe I missed that twice. It doesn't change too much, but I think I will give this now to him, actually. So maybe he should be one space here. 
just to correct it. So I was here, right? So in this case, oh, I might go here actually. Mm. Yeah, he has it, that's for sure. Yeah, I missed that up, I, I messed that up. I really should have played this not so quick. Huh? He's always going for those times. He might, he would have ended up with maximum three, I would be four, so I think I'm good. And then I would have gone for the quest house. So that's not a problem. The question is, what do I do now with my two steps? Do I go for the five money or do I take the two points and remove a disc, but this disc, is worth nothing really. The five coins on the other hand, hmm, that might be a difference. Hmm. Let's go for the points. One, two, we are getting two points here. Again, I might, may have missed that two. And we are removing one disc. We still have one more disc left on our board. There's no real bonus for removing them all actually. It's kind of disappointing actually. And now, yeah, it's back to Jacques. Sorry for that, I totally missed that. So let's see. See, that's his sixth action. Now he's ending it with his next card. So that's now really bad. He will score all of those plus 15 points because he ended the round. I still get a turn, but this turn simply moves me here for three more points, 128. He's at 140, keep that in mind. Let's tally up his score from his cards. So what do we have here? That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 55 points in total, bringing him to 195 points. And then, yeah, basically it's the end of the round, end of the game. So again, we could either go for two points or buy another card. We have eight more money left. It's two points. Can we get more than two points? And I think we can't actually. So in this case, yeah, I will simply go for two more points. That's pretty lame, but again, there's nothing we can, if there would be a card with three points, then yes, I would totally go for it, but we don't have that. And then we are moving into our income. Money income is unfortunately only the money, uh, the victory points here. We didn't make it here, so we are not missing out of this, but we are still getting the 10 points from our victory point income. So we are moving to 100 and. 40. Yeah, I have my doubts now actually that we will make it, but we are scoring now all our cards and prestige buildings. At least we have two there. So let's see, that's 7, 9, 12, 15, 19 points from our cards here, bringing us to 159. Yeah, let's score our prestige buildings. So we get two points for each combat tile we have. So that's seven. So that's 14 points for the Castillo, bringing us to 63, 73, 173. And the Citadel gives us two points for every Every, every combat point and figure we have left. So that's 11, that's 22 points in total. And it's not maxing out somewhere. So that's at least something bringing us 75, 85, 95. Are you kidding me? We are tied with him. We are really tight. No way. Wow, this is brutal, but there's nothing else we can score. Score, actually again we are not doing the nation score and we are not doing any quest score uh, we will lose um, five points because we are one step behind here but we are gaining five points because we have more quest tiles than Jacques has and wow what does this mean and actually I think we have lost we have lost you win if you have more points than Jacques Yes, we have to have more points and we are tight. Again, I might, may have missed some things along the pass. I think I may have awarded myself with two more points here because I, I'm not sure if I was first. I will catch this during editing and we'll leave a comment. Maybe I have messed some, missed something else, but in this case, I'm rather losing on camera than winning and then I will whatever, catch some terrible mistakes I'm doing editing. So in this case, I always prefer losing. But wow, what a fun ride. This solo mode is so amazing. This game has so much to offer. It's incredible. It's really unbelievable how much fun Maraca Evo is and the expansion is no different. This solo mode alone is already a huge addition. Getting more project cards out there is great whole new campaign if you're into campaign i'm not so much i might, may want to try it at some point in time but 
do not really care but you have so many different scenarios now which you can try out it's really a very very changing game and that's what i really like it's a terrific terrific sandbox pirate euro game amazing job and yeah, that's pretty much my solo playthrough of Mara Kaibo with the Uprising expansion. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Again, thanks so much for all of your comments. And maybe, Rene, you are totally right all along. Definitely do appreciate all your comments on this. And yeah, hope to see you soon in one of my other videos. Huge shout out to all of my patrons out there. Again, do appreciate all your support. You can support me or you find a link to my Patreon. Patreon. You you can support me here on YouTube, you leave a comment, like and subscribe, everything helps and yeah with that being said until then bye bye!